Chat, here's what we're doing today. We are doing winter grass testing. Again, Wrath of the Lich King is coming out soon. I'm excited for it. This is a this is a brand new experience. Yes, oh it's very, God. very cool. Let me talk because I'm making a YouTube video, so don't interrupt me. Oh, you're making a YouTube video? Yes. Oh, start all over again. Yeah, why? You know how I know? Because my YouTube voice came in. Winter Grasp is here. Rather, Lich King is around the corner, and we are doing Winter Grasp testing on the beta with the classic devs, all five of them. And we are watching as the horde are basically taking a fat dump all over us. Wrath of the Lich King is a whole new experience for me. I have not, uh, I, I have not played Wrath of the Lich King really. Like I'm, I'm a vanilla WoW, Burning Crusade guy. I quit playing WoW when Wrath of the Lich King came out originally. So uh, I am pretty excited in some ways about this. I'm very much going to miss Burning Crusade and Seal Twisting and how Rep Paladins played then. But uh, I just figured we'd do a video showing a little bit of, uh, Showing a little bit of, of how this goes with Rather Lich King and, and Winter Grasp, the, the new uh, deal that's added here. Okay, let's just go run in here and die. So guys, this is the Winter Grasp experience. Okay, just, just run. <laughs> now, one thing I've noticed about whenever I play, uh, whenever I play Wrath in the beta a little bit, one thing that I noticed, they're chasing after me. I'm running. Oh, I can't land on hands. Cause lay on hands uh, forbearance. I forgot that lay on hands, you can't lay on hands if you have forbearance now. Man, Rat the Lich King sucks. I hate this expansion. No, I think like, uh, I, I think it's one of those things. It's gonna definitely be like some growing pains, learning to play Wrath. And I, I paid a lot of attention to Wrath while it was out, but it was my senior year of high school. I was playing football. I was doing a whole bunch of other stuff. And really, um, okay. um, Dude, I'm taking so much damage. Can no, I even? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, what did I do? Hold on. Divine protection gives you forbearance too. Reduces all damage taken by 50%. Once protected, the target cannot be divine shield landing. I don't want to be in your YouTube video anymore. Dude, I don't, I don't know how this expansion works. Always has. That's yeah, yeah, but I thought, I thought it didn't give you forbearance because I knew, awesome. I knew that it gives you reduced damage. I didn't know it also gave you forbearance. Frick, because I was trying to lay on hands. Yeah, so basically, as I was saying, um, this is like a whole brand new experience for me. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, but Winter Grasp, for those of you guys who don't know, is essentially like it's it's a, uh, it is like an area of the world that you can queue for and that you fight over. So a lot of people have this like feeling about Rat Paladins and Wrath of the Lich King just spin out of control and they're super overpowered. The truth is, is Rat Paladins actually got nerfed like almost immediately after launch. Rat Paladins got nerfed right after and we're playing on the 335 patch. So we're playing on the last patch where um, the last patch of Wrath, oh God. Oh God. Immune, why are these guys immune? Do they have like immunity in the, okay. Thank you. So uh, the truth is with the truth is with Rat Paladins and Wrath of the Lich King is that they actually get, uh, they get nerfed right after launch. Originally they got nerfed right after launch and they're not quite as strong as people think they are, but they are strong. They get really strong at the end of Wrath whenever you get uh, the, the set bonus from ICC and Shadow Morn. Like whenever you get some of the, the later on gear. Are you going to roll an alt on the fresh servers? I think I'm going to actually level an alt on the fresh server. And I was, I was actually talking to Bonnie about it. She was watching me play WoW and she was like, oh, well, I want to play. So now she's leveling on Benediction. But I think what would be a good idea is uh, if we do, I'm just gonna run around and just like cleave and then die. That's pretty much what I do. Okay, I'm like rezzing here. I gotta find a way to get around. I don't know anything about Winter Grasp or, or, or any of this. I'm just running around dying just for fun while I'm talking. I think what the, uh, what the plan is gonna be is to level a character on fresh servers. I wanna level an alt. I wanna level a new character and, and do that for stream content. It's gonna be kind of similar to the original like classic launch experience where everything's fresh, everything's brand new. I think it's just gonna be one of those things where it might make for some some pretty like fun stream content for a while. And if it goes well, then I'll keep doing it. If it doesn't go well, then I'll just, I'll just set it down. I think if you wanna level on fresh servers, it's not a bad idea to level fresh. And then if you wanna use a level 70 boost, then you can use your boost whenever Wrath comes out on Benediction. So like I said, I was talking to Bonnie about it and she's playing for the first time. I was like, well, level fresh if you want to with like the, and get that whole fresh experience. And then I'm going to main on Benediction. That's just where I'm gonna, my main, like, the, the Scarab Lord, Grand Marshal, Gladiator, like that character is gonna be on Benediction. So, oh my gosh, it is so laggy. 
<laughs> you can barely even play. I hope they fix this for, for launch. This is just the beta. So, if this is Battle for Azeroth, they'd be released. They won't? Yeah, who knows? The classic experience. I think that's what Bonnie's gonna do, is she's gonna level a character. And uh, we might we might level on stream a little bit, might level off stream. I think it would be really fun. For a new player playing Classic WoW for the first time ever, I think it's really, really good because there's that 50% XP buff. The new expansion's coming out. There's gonna be like a month long pre-patch. It's actually pretty sweet. So I think that, uh, I think it is gonna make for a pretty nice experience. And I don't know if I'm, I'm I don't know if I'm gonna play Horde or Alliance on Fresh. I haven't decided. Like I'm an Alliance boy, but I might play Horde and level a Blood Elf. This is the WoW I remember, dude. This is so laggy. As you guys know, like my stream content has has really veered away from WoW a lot uh, in the last few years. I still play yeah. a lot, and I'll still do things whenever it's like a cool new like fun hype thing is happening. But uh, I don't stream WoW every single day like I used to. You know, whenever like classic launch was going around and stuff like that. Uh, it's just very different now. You know, I do a lot of like IRL and just chatting and it's just different. Oh God. Dude, it is so laggy. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, dude, that is bad. For the pre-patch, what I want to do during pre-patch is I want to I want to do viewer raids. I want to do Sunwell viewer raids, uh, just a fun a bunch of fun community stuff on Benediction, while at the same time leveling fresh. And I don't know if I want to play Horde or Alliance. I haven't decided. Uh, I will probably boost a Paladin to level 70 on a Horde side. And what I would like to do is I would like to have multiple characters to basically be able to PvP with whoever. I would like to have the opportunity to to PvP with with. Just random people whenever I want, just for fun, do arenas. The new arena system's getting put in, the retail arena system, to where you don't have to be on a set team. Someone says, are we getting owned? I don't know, I'm lagging too hard. I'm really excited about Wrath of Lich King, and, and I have a lot of thoughts about Classic WoW, whether it was vanilla, whether it was Burning Crusade, and kind of the, the, the history of how that's gone over the last few years, and, and what's like there for the future, but... Maybe, I've, I've actually even thought about making a video before Wrath launches and kind of just saying straight up how I feel about everything from start to finish. And I wonder if people would even be interested in hearing that. Like the good, the bad, everything. Things I'm happy with, things, I, things I'm things i really proud of, maybe things I regret. I don't know, I think it's cool. Mitch Jones is gonna move in soon. For Wrath launch, we're gonna have me, Grayson, and Mitch all living here. I do think it'd be super funny if me, Grayson, and Mitch were all doing arenas together. Like somebody would have to learn how to heal. Maybe Grayson could, cause Grayson's just a god. And we do like Rhett, Mage, Disc Priest or something. I, I don't know, I don't know what Grayson would play, but it would be super sick if we had LAN arenas. Hell, even maybe, maybe even I learn how to heal. I'm, I'm pretty good at Holy and, and Vanilla and I'm okay in Burning Crusade. I actually didn't play Holy, I think for the entirety of Burning Crusade. My thing is I was always just good at Rhett. Rhett and Prot. Dude, I'm so laggy. No! <laughs> Which WoW should I play as a beginner? I mean, they're two very different games, but uh, right now the new content is coming out for WoW Classic. Some people like Classic more, some people like Retail more. I personally have, have always liked Classic more. By the way, chat, if you're new here, make sure to sub to my YouTube channel, YouTube SFAN TV. Also, if you haven't followed the stream yet and you wanna follow, you can follow the stream, you can download the extension, you can get updates on everything going on with the stream. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to run in and just leave as much as possible. If I even can. That's why I'm I'm even going like wait, where's my uh extra Dude, Brain dead BG? Yeah, it certainly feels that way. Do you play retail at all? Not really. I, I like I always say there's a difference between playing something and streaming something, and I think that's what I do with Retail WoW. Because I, I didn't really... I, I haven't played Retail WoW since I would consider the end of Burning Crusade, the beginning of Wrath, and then maybe at the beginning of Cataclysm a little bit. Like, if I play it for a few weeks or something at the beginning of an expansion, like, I, I'll stream it and I'll give you, like, my legitimate thoughts on it, but... Uh, 
outside of like there being some massive changes to the game, I don't really see that as something that I'd be like particularly interested in is, is playing retail WoW. Um, now, if the game changes a lot, if the game changes a lot, then maybe there's a chance. I will always push for there to be like the option and the, the capability of, of playing classic WoW, whether it's vanilla, whether it's Burning Crusade or Wrath of the Lich King. I think those things should always be available to everybody. I think is a very like important thing, like not just for like the players to play it, but as far as like, I mean, you, you want to look at the history of gaming and online games like WoW was was literally like it like an international phenomenon. Like WoW in, in 20, like 2008, 2007 was what Fortnite was in 2018. Very much like Fortnite, it was, it was massive. It was crazy. It was far and away, it was far and away like the, the biggest thing in the world in gaming. I'm very pro people having the ability to play Vanilla WoW forever, play Classic WoW, Burning Crusade, play uh, Wrath of the Lich King. I, I think it's it's really important to have those things exist and, and there needs to be like a degree of like permanence there. Maybe not not in the individual servers, right? And, and the, the experience is there, but like for people to be able to come back and play, I think is very important. Yeah, and for me, Wrath of the Lich King is gonna be very, very weird. It's, it's gonna be kind of special, I think, because uh, for a lot of people, uh, Classic WoW was very, wait, we won? I don't even know what happened. I think there's a misconception outside of the WoW community about what Classic WoW is. To some people, it, it, it was about nostalgia, but I think a lot of it comes down to gameplay and you have a lot of new people and a lot of the best players that, that are playing Classic WoW now are people that, that played the game, uh, that, that are playing the game younger. They're like 20, you know, uh, and they're just good at games and they like it. And oddly enough, those were the, those are a lot of people that were the best players 15 years ago, you know? I think there's a very special new experience, even for somebody playing the game today and I, I do have like, I, I have a very like emotional attachment to Classic WoW. Not just like the gameplay, but also like the memories I have and the things that I've done, the accomplishments. Like I'm not super happy with everything that they've done in terms of how they're addressing certain things in Wrath of the Lich King. I think Wrath of the Lich King will, will uh, I think it will make a bad first impression uh, in the first raid tier. They are re-releasing Next Ramus, which was the last raid in Vanilla WoW. So they're taking the last raid in Vanilla WoW and they re-release it. Back in the day, this was cool. It was it was very it was still easy, but it was like a very cool thing because only like 25 guilds, I don't remember the exact number, was it 23, 25, actually cleared Nax Ramus at level 60. So barely anybody in the world got to experience that content. And whenever barely anybody in the world got to experience it, they thought it would be cool to take what a lot of people consider to be one of the coolest raids and put it back into the game at level 60. Excuse me, at level 80. I don't I don't really foresee it being the kind of thing that people are gonna get like a super like hard like raid difficulty experience pv experience from it wrath babies came about for a reason yeah there's like the whole concept of wrath babies and everything the core of what wrath of the lich king is going to be about end game content it's going to come down to pvp i think people are going to be hyped about wrath of the lich king arenas and pvp and that's going to be the main thing that people are going to want to see i think the issue with it is it's it's a little bit hard to follow sometimes if, if you if you don't like sit down and like try and understand it like if you don't watch it intentionally it might be kind of hard to understand. I'm constantly talking to, to a lot of the developers and, and people working on the game and, and we've gotten some things changed for the better, even from the beginning of, of the classic announcement. Some good things have happened, right? Whether whether we go back and it's like classic launch and they were originally only gonna have four patches, right? That was like one of the first big ones and, and we were like super excited about that. And then I remember my Discord, dude, people were flooding into my Discord and we were talking in voice chat like excited because that, that was the one we were like waving the flag for. It's like, we need more than four patches. It's it's gonna be, it's not gonna be good. And then I said, I had a big conversation with people at Blizzard that needs to be like eight, minimum six. And I think they ended up going with seven patches total, like phases when I say patches. Or even like getting ready for Burning Crusade, like uh, I pushed really hard for like the seal twisting stuff to happen, for Paladins to be able to have seal of blood for the Alliance and uh, to, to be able to retain seal twisting, even though they got rid of the spell batching, which totally changed the experience, like the, the Rep Paladin experience in Burning Crusade. It made it really, really fun. So I'm still very much like on board with like pushing for things and, and I don't make videos and stuff about it as much because I, I feel like it's easier to sit down and have a conversation or, or have a back and forth with somebody who, who works there directly than it is to make a video. And I know making the video gets the hype and it gets people talking and it's good for your YouTube channel. But between like owning an org and, and managing a stream and everything else that I do in my life right now, if I really wanna, I think, make an impact in Classic WoW and, and be like a direct line of communication, the best way to do that is by 
having the direct conversations more so than making YouTube vi videos and such. Could you imagine TBC Classic without Blood Martyr for Ally? Dude, I had more fun in Burning Crusade Classic than I've ever had ever playing World of Warcraft, ever. So it is pretty bittersweet with uh, Burning Crusade coming to a close. At the end of the day, I am excited for Wrath. I originally wasn't. I, I had a lot of like, I almost had like anxiety about it because I liked Burning Crusade so much and I feel like it didn't last long enough. Now we're at the point where, you know, it's, it's been around long enough. We're talking about Wrath of Lich King. I actually think Burning Crusade ended at about the right time. But I think overall, I think, uh, overall, I think Wrath of Lich King came out at the right time or is coming out at the right time. I'm excited. I'm very excited about, uh, about Wrath of Lich King coming out. And I'm excited to have a brand new experience in WoW and classic WoW and, and play the expansion that everybody talks so much about and everybody's so excited about all the time. My streams for Wrath of the Lich King are gonna be very different. It's gonna be kind of funny, I think, to, to watch me kind of bumble around and, oh, I don't know what to do here, I don't know what to do there, and learn and figure out stuff for the first time. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, winter grass testing. It was super laggy and we could barely see anything. Hopefully we helped out a little bit with being able to queue up for that with the, with the devs and stuff. If you guys like this video, if you guys like some of the other stuff I do, look around my YouTube channel, see if you like it. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Check out my channel on Twitch. It's uh, just SFANTV, Twitter, Instagram, everything is SFANTV, my Discord. If it exists, SFANTV is my handle. Make sure to hit the bell, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. That helps me out a lot and uh, give me some feedback. And uh, I read everything. So chat, say bye YouTube. Peace.